Hey my side eyes, it's me Tyler, and I'm back with another video. I'm back with another video. She back with another video. She back with another video. All right, you guys, I hope y'all doing well today. I am coming at y'all with a very quick video. Well, I hope it's quick. <laughs> so if y'all don't know, I was in the Army National Guard and I was in for seven years, I think. So if y'all don't know, the Army has three different sectors, if you would like to call them. It's the National Guard, Active Duty, and Reservists. Active Duty always talk about National Guard and Reservists because we don't come to work every day. And they feel like we just unprofessional. Our uniforms don't be right. They feel like we be fat. Just all types of shade that Active Duty people be throwing to Reservists and people in the National Guard. However, to be quite honest with you, everything that kind of like matters, everything that counts, we do together like we do basic training together we do ait together which is like the class you take to learn your job um like if it's any type of special training like airborne or any or officer school or i don't know anything like that like reservists and national guard is gonna do it with active duty so we don't have our own little nothing except for like our little armories and stuff that we those are ours that we have alone but basically everything else you're gonna deploy with active duty people all type of shit we just gonna come to work every day but anyway so real quick this is gonna be five things that always happen at everybody basic training so i went to basic training in fort jackson south carolina i think i went i went as soon as i graduated high school so that was like in 2009 and um, they called it relaxing Jackson. So I thought I was going to get there and chill and just, you know, it wasn't going to be that bad. They want me to do a little run, a little push up, a little sit up, or whatever the case may be. But it was awful. I was at Alpha Company. Um, it was like Alpha Company 3 something or 2, 4, 5. I don't know, but I know I was at somebody Alpha Company. I can't remember the name of it, but I do remember we always just have to say 40 rounds. So if y'all know what company that is, they be saying 40 rounds. Like every time you reply to somebody, y'all comment below and let me know. The number five thing that's going to always happen at everybody's basic training is somebody is going to want to go home. And they handle this in several different ways depending upon who the person is but a lot of times people like call themselves trying to commit suicide and i'm not gonna say that they literally be well no i'm not gonna shade nobody because i don't know nobody personal what they feel in their heart but it's just like you knew you weren't gonna die if you drunk shampoo like you just was gonna get a stomach ache and you was gonna be in trouble for drinking shampoo girl but Okay, but yeah, they call that stuff trying to commit suicide, which is also weird to me because y'all act like y'all didn't sign the paper, sign multiple papers, go to MEPS, talk to a recruiter, go through physicals and, and swearing in, and you went through... Before you get to the actual basic training, you have to go through so many steps. And I just do not understand what make them like want to take their life when they finally get there but it happens it's gonna happen at everybody based training and other people they don't you know try to do anything to themselves but they do just ask to go home and say they want to go home but here's the thing y'all about saying that you want to go home and this is why i strongly suggest you do not do it if you're thinking about going into the military do not do it if you are going to get there and want to go home because when you go and you say you want to go home, they're not going to just say, okay, boom. They're not going to just release you back home. You're actually going to have to go through the entire process with everyone else. Like when we go on rock marches, you're going to have to go. You may get to ride in the van every now and then with the other people that see. Like our drill sergeant used to call them the broken crazies. Be like, the broken crazy man, come on. If you was a part of the Broken Crazies, then you was there the, basically the whole time. That's why I do not suggest you get the basic training talking about you want to go home because they don't care. 
they're gonna have you there until basically we graduate. Like the people who said they wanted to go home and stuff, they were like directing traffic and shit at our graduation. So it would have just been a no. Uh-uh. I'm not going home and I'm not staying over. Like I did my final PT test to get to, you know, to finally graduate and go off to AIT. I did that shit with pneumonia and I have asthma because I was not about to stay in Fort um I was about to say Fort Leonardwood. I'm I'm not I was not about to stay in Fort Jackson not a second longer than what I had to. <laughs> so y'all don't ask to go home. Number four, it is going to always be somebody that is getting their money stolen from somebody that they thought they could trust at home. Mind you, most of the people that go to basic training, they are young. They're 18, 19, 20 years old. So they give their bank account information to somebody like a family member, mom, dad, or their wife or spouse or something like that. It happens a lot on deployment too. They give their bank account information, you know, just to try to help pay bills or whatever the case may be. And then the family member or whatever ends up taking all of their money. And it's always like a big rigmarole because fi like we'll get to go maybe once a month or something and check our balance or something like that. And then somebody go check their balance and then it ain't nothing in there. So they got to go talk to the drill sergeant and get whoever name on their account off their account. So somebody won't continuously steal their money. It just be a lot to deal with while you're trying to go through basic training. Like, I really hate it for people who had to go through that. Like, my mom had my bank account information, but I trust her. And number one, my mom got her own money. She didn't need she didn't have nothing to do with my little bit of money she was not gonna steal it so i just hate it for the people who you know they didn't have nobody they could trust with their money while they was gone but it's gonna always happen in every basic training because people was out here shady even to their own loved ones number three What's going to always happen is somebody is going to always have hygiene issues. It may be one person, it may, may be multiple people, but wherever you are sleeping in the bay at with other people, it, it's going to always be somebody who stank. Like they don't want to brush their teeth. They don't want to take a shower when it's time to take a shower. Um, they don't want to wash their clothes. It's always going to be somebody with some type of hygiene issue. And it's not because we all musty and shit because we be running. They wake us up in the middle of the night to do push-ups and this and that. And you getting smoked at all hours of the night. So it's not just, oh, somebody smell a little sweaty. No, it's people there who are not going to want to take a shower the entire time. And people may have to tell the drill sergeant on them. It's going to be people who don't want to wash their clothes the entire time. And they got the nerve enough to tie it on your bunk where y'all sleep at together, which is crazy. Like, no, you're not about to tie that staking ass shit on my bunk, uh, ma'am, private. I'm about to go sell. No, man. <laughs> it be funny sometimes. But it do be hella annoying, especially if that's your battle buddy, like your bunk buddy that you got to be, you know, you got to share a locker and a bed and shit with. It's not funny then. And also, sometimes it's kind of sad because some people, like I said, these are very young people that's coming straight out of high school to basic training. Some of them just don't know. Like, some of them just don't know how to wash their clothes. Some of them ain't never been familiar with washing their own underwear and you know, they didn't have to take baths every day at home. Just all type of shit. They just really don't know. So that's why it's best to try, like, at first, try not to shame them. Like, if you could pull them to the side and tell them real quick, like, hey, you know, if you need help washing your clothes or, you know, you got to brush your teeth every day. You got to, you might want to pull them to the side and not try to humiliate them. But if they try to get an attitude with you or something like that, like, girl, you funky. And I'm finna tell. <laughs> All right, so number two, something that's going to always happen is there is going to always be an inappropriate relationship. And by inappropriate, I mean basically anybody having a relationship because you're not supposed to be fraternizing. That's what they call it. You're not supposed to be fraternizing with each other. You're not supposed to be talking to no sergeants or drill sergeants that you may see while you're in basic training. You're not supposed to be talking to 
the privates that you see. You really ain't supposed to be, you know, talking or flirting or nothing like that with nobody. They about don't even want you to be friends or or giggle or nothing. That's what I used to get in trouble with, trouble for all the time, laughing and shit. But they about don't want you to have no type of joy or connections or anything. So you definitely ain't supposed to be trying to, you know, talk to people and form relationships and be around the corner trying to kiss and stuff, which it, I did hear of it happening in my basic training, but my thing is like, how did y'all find time to do that? And AIT, it's a little bit more relaxed and you get a little bit more freedom, but I just don't see how they, I don't know, I don't even see how they found time to find each other attractive in basic training. You know, AIT, you got a chance to kind of look cute sometimes, but in basic, you don't have no time and you ugly and you always dirty for real, for real. So speaking of inappropriate relationships, number one kind of ties into that. So the number one thing that always happens in basic training is it's going to always be some type of huge scandal that the whole battalion knows about. Like people that's all the way on the other side. So we have little companies and it's a whole bunch of companies in the battalion, right? So they it's companies everywhere doing basic training at the same time. So it's like a whole bunch of y'all everywhere with different drill sergeants and stuff. So there's gonna always be something that get across all these people. Like you're gonna find out. It's like always some huge scandal. And depending upon what type of inappropriate relationships may be happening at your basic training, that may be the scandal. And it very well may be something that really don't have anything to do with relationships. I know in my basic training, the huge like scandal or the big thing was somebody had ended up passing away because it was hot and i think like their company like their drill sergeants and stuff did not bring them inside when they were supposed to come inside so somebody ended up dying we had to go to a memorial service for the soldier and all of that so that was kind of like our huge scandal and number two we had a soldier that ran away on the base like they let you go to the doctor and stuff by yourself. Like if you have to go to the emergency room or something like that, you can go, there's like bus stations and stuff to take you all around post. And he ended up just running off. He went to another bus station. I think he went to the hospital and found him away. And he just left, he ran away. Final scandal, it wasn't really huge. Like I don't think everybody knew, but it was just in our company. So sometimes we allowed to go to the little store that they have on base, but we only could get specific things we, that we we need like panties, deodorant, um, your soap, toothbrush, stuff like that. You're not supposed to be getting candy. It's a huge thing in basic. Like you are not supposed to eat candy. Like even if it's candy in your little MRE, like the meals they give you, you're still not supposed to eat it. You're supposed to give it to your drill sergeant or whatever. But this particular guy, he was going to the store and buying candy <laughs> and selling it to the people that lived like in the room with him and somebody ended up selling on him. So those are the five things that basically is gonna always happening at everybody basic training and for y'all who've been to basic training before let me know how i did is that you know am i am i getting warm like am i correct which i kind of i feel like i am but y'all let me know did those things happen in your basic training and if you like videos like this make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all later